spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they restore to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest for those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Ruque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Monica, pray for us. Prayer for the 500th anniversary of the arrival of the Santo Niño image in Cebu. Senor Santo Niño de Cebu, de Cebu, you are the abiding presence of the Father in our journey of faith. As we celebrate the 500th anniversary of the arrival of our miraculous image on our shores, we humbly ask you to send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may become your faithful apostles in the vast and complex arena of today's world. May our Christian faith and our deep devotion to you become the source of renewal in our society as we go along our pilgrim way to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Signor Santo Nino de Cebu, have mercy on us. Intercessory prayer to Saint Augustine. God of truth, desire of all hearts, we pray you for your love that touched the hearts, the heart of Saint Augustine, and awakened in him the quest for your truth. Attracted by the good things you made, he learned to seek your face and to know the joy of your presence, the name of Christ echoing from infancy in the depths of his heart called him back to word, the teacher who dwells within. With Saint Augustine, we praise the work of your love and proclaim your action of grace in our lives. Through his intercession, we ask you to hear our prayers. Here you may mention your request. Teach us daily to live by his examples so that our restless hearts may find your peace and our lives may rejoice in your love. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, that it is not the temptation, but that he will us some evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for the sinners, son of the earth, for the day. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning is now, and ever shall be word of without the name. Saint Augustine, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements.
Lord Jesus, we adore you. What proclaim you are King? coming together as family with confidence let us ask the father's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and compassion Lord have mercy on us Mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. When it was reported to the king of Egypt that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants changed their minds about them. They exclaimed, What have we done? Why, we have released Israel from our service. So Pharaoh made his chariots ready and mustered his soldiers. 600 first-class chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with warriors of them all. So obstinate had the Lord made Pharaoh that he pursued the children of Israel even while they were marching away in triumph. The Egyptians then pursued them. Pharaoh's whole army, his horses, chariots, and charioteers caught up with them as they lay encamped by the sea at Phi-Hahiroth in front of Balzephon. Pharaoh was already near when the children of Israel looked up and saw that the Egyptians were on the marth in pursuit of them. In great fright, they cried out to the Lord, and they complained to Moses, where there are no burial places in Egypt that you had to bring us out here to die in the desert. Why did you do this to us? Why did you bring us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you this in Egypt when we said, Leave us alone. Let us serve the Egyptians. 
far better for us to be the slaves of the Egyptians than to die in the desert. But Moses answered the people, Fear not, stand your ground, and you will see the victory the Lord will win for you today. These Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. The Lord himself will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward, and you lift up your staff, and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the children of Israel may pass through it on a dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise Him, the God of my Father. I extol Him. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered the sun in glory. The Lord is a warrior. Lord is His name. Eru's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Waters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O oh Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O oh Lord, has shattered the
Under the Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. He said to them in reply, An evil and unfaithful generation seek a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will rise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment, the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be seated for all. There is this line that says, For a person who believed, no miracle is necessary. But for those who do not believe, no miracle would suffice, or no miracle would be enough. This line from Swart Chase is further affirmed, or very similar to the one from St. Thomas Aquinas, when he said, and I quote, To one who has faith, no explanation is necessary. But to one without faith, no explanation is possible. In today's Gospel, Jesus condemns his generation for their lack of faith as they persistently ask for a sign. They demanded a sign. And the Lord refers to the story of Jonah, the prophet, as the only sign given to Nineveh, to the people of Nineveh, the Ninevites. So they would repent, they would change their hearts and be converted. In the New Covenant, in the New Testament, Jesus is the sign. In fact, Jesus is the only sign given to the people. The only sign but he belonged to God the Father. The only sign given to his generation. But then the people refused to believe. They were not ready to believe his claim at that time. The prophet Jonah who is being mentioned in the gospel as also a sign belong to the Old Testament. The prophet Jonah belonged to the Old Testament. And yet, their stories, Jonah and the Lord Jesus, have to be taken as one. That is why in our Bible, no? the Old and the New Testament, they have to be understood to be read continuously as one, as both are signs that God has sent to bring back his people into his loving arms. Jonah being the prophet and Jesus being the son, the son of God. There is a very important distinction between the prophet Jonah and the Lord Jesus. The prophet Jonah points to God as the object of conversion, while Jesus points to himself. This is so because 
Jesus is truly human and truly divine. And that is why here it's very clear he said that someone is greater than Jonah here and even greater than Solomon referring to himself. Brothers and sisters, we continue to pray and discern in order to seek the movements of the heart and to see greater signs that brings us to conversion. May we be able to discover the Lord and notice Him, even if at times the Lord is unseen, the Lord cannot be felt, even if at times the Lord is absent, seemingly. But in the real sense, the Lord is always with us. So we continue to pray with St. Augustine, who is in humility. In humility, show this faith that seeks understanding. Faith seeking understanding. When he said, and I quote, I believe that I may understand. Credo ut intelligent in Latin. I believe that I may understand. Please stand. Jonah discovered that there is no getting away from the Lord. We now turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and to believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil behaviors and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that families and communities may always seek peace, unity, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That a servant of God, Teofilo Kamomot, Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Senior Santo Nino, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our country and in the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in direct patient care, give them strength for their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those isolated in their homes, sustain them in joy and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For decision makers at all levels, send them your wisdom and good counsel to serve their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died because of the pandemic and those who grieve their loss in isolation, comfort them in their sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your son, as from all eternity you will his resurrection. Associate us with his with him forever, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, 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 oh,
brothers and sisters have made sacrifice and you also become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice through the hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as so your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through Him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we hear his bread, when his cup, when proclaim your death, O oh Lord, and say God, Therefore, as a celebration, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope who say our Archbishop and all the clergy and the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say. from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the with you and with your spirit let us offer each other sign of peace act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits roaming around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Holy Angels in Heaven, pray for us. Blessing of religious articles, let us pray. God, whose word all things are made holy, pour out your blessing on these religious articles and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law and with the spirit of thanksgiving may experience by your power health in body and protection in soul as they invoke your most holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for our beloved dead and the poor souls in purgatory. Let us pray for our departed brothers and sisters to Jesus Christ who has said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. You who resurrected the dead, grant eternal life to our departed brothers and sisters. Lord, Lord hear us and have mercy. You who from the cross promised paradise to the good thief, receive now our brothers and sisters into your kingdom. Lord, hear us and have mercy. You who went through the pain of death and resurrected gloriously from the tomb, grant the happy life for the, of the resurrection of our brothers and sisters. Lord, hear us and have mercy. You who wept before the grave of our friend Lazarus, deign to wipe the tears of those who weep for the death of our brothers and sisters. Lord, hear us and have mercy. Let us pray. Lord, our life is short and fragile. This death we now contemplate is a reminder for us, but you live eternally, and your love is stronger than our death. With full confidence, we place our brothers and sisters who departed from us into your caring hands, forgive their transgressions, and receive them into your kingdom to live happily in your presence forever and ever. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the departed, faithful departed to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. At your arrival, may the martyrs come to welcome you and introduce you into the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choir of the angels receive you and Christ, your Lord, will take you to the side of Abraham, so that in the company of Lazarus, poor in this life, you may have eternal rest. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.